So, as I was training today, man, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a longer form podcast about this. I don't, I, I don't want to take too much of your day. I know it's midday, it's twelve o'clock here in Texas, and I know it's a little bit windy out here, but I couldn't help but press play, uh, press live, and give you guys this message. And so I want to talk about depression. We all deal with it. We all have dealt with it, and we all are going to deal with it. And I don't care how great your life is. I don't care how bad your life may seem to be. Depression is going to hit your life at some point. And sometimes we don't even know you're depressed, right? Sometimes we don't even realize. I know for so long in my life, I didn't even know I was depressed because I thought depression meant you would cry all the time and all of that. But depression comes in a lot of forms. And I was just thinking about this. Like every time that I've been depressed, it's because I've been obsessed. Okay, and I'm not talking about a healthy obsession. I'm talking about an unhealthy obsession. And I want you to think about this as I talk about this in your life. What unhealthy obsessions do you have? Right, and I'm gonna be real. This, this might be a message that some people might can't handle right now. I understand it. But it's something that's helped me change my life. What up, Misty? I appreciate you. When I talk about unhealthy obsessions, right? Every time I've been depressed, most times I've been depressed, I'll say that. It's because I've always been obsessed with the things that I cannot control, right? I've always been obsessed with things that are out of my control. I've always been obsessed with the external things. And if you think about your life, right, the times you're depressed, the times when you're sad and angry, I know there's there's other forms where you just feel depressed, right? But I'm talking about the times when, you know, you feel down, right? You feel like you're going through storm after storm after storm. You heard me say this a million times and I'll say it a million more. Depression is oftentimes the absence of appreciation. And I love to talk about this. And a lot of people don't want to hear it. But it's the reason why I say it all starts with you. A lot of people want change but they don't want to change. I'll repeat that. A lot of people want change, right? Everybody on here wants change. We all want change, but a lot of us don't want to change. We want things that just happen in our life. And I'm sorry, I wish the world worked like that. We can just wish it and pray for it and happen. It doesn't work like that. And if we look at our life, oftentimes we're focusing on the things that we can't control. So I'm gonna be real. A lot of us on this live, even me at a point, you have an unhealthy obsession with other people's lives, right? Things that are out of your control. You focusing on everybody else's life. You focusing on what everybody else has. You focusing on all these things that you can't control. And you wonder why you dive in a deeper depression because you're obsessed with the things that you can't control. You're obsessed with comparison, right? You're obsessed with your past. You're obsessed with how people treat you. And those are things that you cannot control. Yes, you can influence it. You can pray about it. You can hope for it. But at the end of the day, those are things that you can't control. And the question I want to ask you right now is, what are you ignoring in your life that you can control? Right? That's a healthy obsession. Looking inward in your life and focusing on the internal things that you can control. Whether it be taking care of your health, whether it be taking care of your mental health, physical health, spiritual health, whatever it may be. But a lot of times what we do is we always focus on what we don't have. We always focus on somebody else's relationship. We focus on somebody else's blessing. Like we are too obsessed with ignoring our own blessings and counting someone else's blessing. Right? We get mad because somebody else is blessed. Right? We get mad because somebody else appears. Let's just say that appears to be blessed. And we focus our life on that. Right? Unhealthy obsession that you can't control. And what happens is that you live in that place because you feel paralyzed because you can't control how somebody lives their life. You can't control how somebody treats you. You can't control what somebody does with their time. You can't control what somebody says. And we live in obsession with that. We live in obsession. I'm not trying to be this person, but we live in obsession with TV shows, reality shows. And we live there and it creates unhealthy comparison in our soul. And now we compare in our life saying, man, like, I wish I could have that. I wish I can do that. But you become You become ignorant to the fact, and I hate to use that word, but it's true. You become ignorant to the fact that there are things in your life that that you are in control of that you can change, but you don't take the responsibility with that. 
So I want to challenge everybody. And this is something I talk to myself about. I want to challenge everybody on this live to create a healthy obsession with the things that you can control. Right. You can control what you do when you first wake up in the morning. You can control what you put in your body. You can control who you choose to hang around. You can control appreciating your life. You can control spending time with your kids. You can control building a a deeper relationship with God. You can control all of those things. You can control building your dreams. You can control furthering your life. You can control that. But as long as you're obsessed with the things that you, whoa, almost fell in the pool again. As long as you're in good, as long as you're obsessed with the things that you cannot control, I promise you, depression will set in your soul. Depression will set in your soul because you feel paralyzed. And a lot of us, the reason why we're depressed is because we're trying to change a past that we can't change, or we're trying to control a future that day. How can you show more love today? How can you forgive today? How can you give yourself more grace today? And I ask myself, in situations, can I control this? If my answer is no, I try my best to let it go. I'm not perfect at it, like none of us are, but I try my best to let it go. So how many of you watching this live right now, do this deep work when you get off of here. Don't just listen to me. Do the deep work when you when you get off of here. How many of us are obsessed with things that we can't control? And how can you change that? And a simple trigger for me is saying, man, can I control this? No, I can't. Okay, I'm going to pray about it. I'm going to let it go. Can I control this? Okay, let me get to work and make the changes that I want to make. Because again, everybody wants change, but everybody don't want to change. And you cannot make changes in your life without making changes to your life. It is fact. Right? If you don't like your energy, change it. Right? Change it. You're in control of the energy that you give to things. And some of us, we obsess with giving negative energy to everybody else. We obsess with projecting negative energy to everybody else. We obsess with talking about people, gossiping. We obsess with tearing down people. We obsess with all of that. And we wonder why our life ain't blessed. You obsess with wishing for somebody else's downfall. That's unhealthy obsession. A healthy obsession is focusing on the things that you can change to make your life better. And I promise you, I don't care how low your life may be. And this is somebody that you already know that's just been through a hardest season of his life. And I've been there multiple times. And I had to tell myself because I was in that season, I was obsessed with things that I couldn't control. I was obsessed with, man, I want to bring my mother back. I was obsessed, man, like, dang, I wish my daughter didn't have to go through that. I was obsessed with all that. And I realized, like, dang, I can't change that. But what can I change? Depression is oftentimes the absence of appreciation. Depression is... Carrie said, I cannot control wanting to be validated by careers. Exactly. You can't control that, but you can validate your damn self, Carrie. You can validate your damn self. And the more you start keeping promises to yourself, and I know y'all hear this all the time, the more you can love yourself more, the more you can, you know, develop things that bring your life peace, the more you can get around the good energy in your life, whether that energy is just yours, then I promise you, you start to validate your own self because you realize that you've already been validated by God and you start to love yourself more. When you love yourself more, you become confident in yourself. But you can't expect to sit on your butt and look at everybody else's life and be obsessed with comparison, be obsessed with gossiping, be obsessed with wishing people's downfall, be obsessed with kicking people while they're down, or be obsessed with wanting what somebody else's have, or be obsessed with counting someone else's blessing, or be obsessed with whatever it may be out of your control. Be obsessed with waiting on somebody to give you an apology. Be obsessed for somebody to love you. Be obsessed with all these things you can't control. You will live. Your soul will suffer. I promise you. So, again, what's in your control? And it might not be much. But maybe what's in your control is say, man, you know what? I can move my body today. Because I'm going to tell you this, and some of y'all might not want to hear it. Movement is the key to life. Okay? Move. I don't care if you walk around the block. I don't care if you get a beast workout. I don't care if you swim. I don't care if you walk in the water. I don't care. Move. Because when you stand still, depression will set in. Facts. When you stand still, and I'm not saying that you can you can still move and stay out of depression. But it's a guarantee. When you stand still, you start to feel sorry for yourself. Depression will set in. And it will set in deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And you'll find yourself in a place where you look in the mirror, you don't even recognize yourself. You don't even recognize yourself no more. So start being obsessed with the things internally 
that you can control. Be obsessed with building a better relationship with God. Be obsessed with building a better relationship with your family that's in your control. Be obsessed with putting the right things in your body, putting the right things in your mind, getting around the right people. Be obsessed with taking care of yourself. Some of us, we we waiting on other people to take care of us, but we ain't taking care of ourselves. You set the tone for how people treat you. You want somebody to respect you, but you don't respect you. You want somebody to help change your life, but you ain't putting the work to change your life. That's a realization that I have. All about just you. But I want you to realize something. Ain't nothing going to change in your life. Nothing without your permission. I don't care if you have all the support in the world until you allow that support to support you. Until you do the things, it's a you versus you battle. Don't get it twisted. My mom taught me that a long time ago. It's you versus you. That's it. You want better health? You ain't gonna get better health unless you do something about it. Right? You wanna live your dreams? You're not gonna live your dreams unless you do something about it. Will there be help on the way? Absolutely. But you can't depend on the help. You got to become your own help. You got to learn how to help yourself and be obsessed with that. Be obsessed with that. Okay? And I know that's not a bulletproof formula to end depression or not experience depression. But it is a guaranteed formula that if you focus on things you can't control, you have a, a negative, unhealthy obsession with things that are outside of your realm, with the external things that are outside of the realm of you, you'll be depressed every time. Because you can't control it. Right? Think about it. You can't control it. Be obsessed with what's going to make you better. Exactly. But again, I said it a million times, man. Everybody, I saw a quote. Everybody wants change, but everybody don't want to change. It's life. You got to put in the work. You got to put in the work.